there's one thing you need to realize. The odds are on your side. The odds of being granted social security disability are on your side. You need social security disability benefits, medical and financial, and you need them now. Yeah, there are people out there that I call them naysayers. They'll discourage you. They'll tell you that few people are granted social security disability, that it's just a hassle, that you have to complete hundreds of forms, which isn't true. They say everyone applies for social security disability is investigated for fraud, which is just ridiculous. They say social security is going to hire private investigators and spies to poly around. That's untrue. They say Social Security is going to make you see crooked doctors to say that you're not disabled. Just don't believe them. They say disability judges will try to trick you. They say everyone's out to get you. Really? Really? Don't believe them. I mean, you're going to hear that few people win disability. That it's futile. You might see statistics on lawyer websites that only 30% of applications are granted. You know, to get that the figure that low, they have to include in their statistics of how many applications were granted or denied, they have to include technical denials, which have nothing to do with whether the applicant suffered a severe disabling condition. Technical denials are called non-medical determinations. They, they include things such as whether it's a repeat application, multiple application, applications with fraudulent social security numbers, among other things. One technical denial might be somebody that thinks that they're going to improve their odds of winning by not submitting one application, but submitting 50 applications. And they have multiple applications. They've got to deny them. It has nothing to do with whether that one person was disabled or not. There's another video on this channel regarding technical denials. It may help you. Other deflated statistics, like the 30%, that are commonly seen on websites say that only 10 to 12% of reconsiderations are favorable. Uh, if you look at 2019 statistics for all Social Security disability beneficiaries, it was 16%. You want to be one of the 16%. And if you don't ask for reconsideration, you can't go to the next level, which is a request for hearing before an administrative law judge. Now, these same lawyers and, and other experts, or whatever they wish to proclaim themselves to be, you'll often see that they say only 47 to 50 percent of hearings are favorable. Let's look at the 2019 statistics again. They're the most complete recent statistics at this time. In 2019, 65.3 percent of all um, people who requested a hearing before an administrative law judge were granted social security disability, 65.3%. But you could find all these figures on Social Security's very comprehensive website. You'll find links below the description of this video. Remember the odds are on your side. I know it's disappointing. It's like a kick in the stomach when you get your Notice a disapproved claim or if you receive an unfavorable reconsideration. I know it, but you don't just give up. Unfortunately, a lot of people do. Don't be one of them. Going back to the 2019 statistics where a lot of people won, but more than 211,000 people quit when their applications were denied. Another 86,500 quit when they received unfavorable reconsiderations. From a poll of nearly 804,000 true applicants, a total of 297,844 quit. That's a lot. 30% of all applicants quit 
And let me tell you one thing, 100% of quitters were denied disability benefits. 0% won. When their applications were denied, they didn't request reconsideration. If they received an unfavorable reconsideration, they didn't request a hearing before an administrative law judge. They quit. What happened to the remaining 506,000 applicants? Those who their applications weren't granted, 37,200 won at the reconsideration level. Over 68,000 were granted disability at the hearing level. That's 65% of everybody who requested a hearing. 37,300 were denied at the hearing level. I'll give them one thing, they didn't quit. Of those who didn't quit, 92.5% were granted disability benefits. 92.5% were granted disability benefits. The message is, don't quit. You want to be one of the 92.5%. If you believe that other disabled people will find this video helpful, please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the Disability Granted channel, and good luck.